Hello and welcome to a small tutorial video for SimTiCat, the new Max for Cats Matrix synthesizer. Once installed, you can just drag and drop the instrument on a MIDI track and its interface will pop open. What is SimTiCat, you might wonder. The trained eye will immediately see some parallels between SimTiCat and good old EMS synthesizers from the 70s, such as the AKS or the VCS3, which are both matrix synthesizers basically the same ones where the Cinti A was in a suitcase while the Cinti VCS was in a wooden cabinet. In any case, these synthesizers had at its heart a matrix and this matrix allowed for a number of connections between the sound sources, the treatments such as ring modulation and filters and so on. And the matrix was basically a nice way to, to make quick connections and to experiment with different um, interroutings between those patch points. If we take a look at the interface, it's apparent that uh, at the heart we have the patch panel or the matrix. On the left hand side we have three oscillators. We have a noise generator with a color, which means you can filter the noise already. You have an output filter which is a little low pass on the two outputs and the two outputs are here on the left bottom where you have a level and a panning for each of the outputs. We have a little keyboard which can act as a trigger for, uh, for the notes and signals but you can also record and play back little loops with that. So that's basically a little sequencer so to speak. If we go to uh, this side on the right hand side we see the stick which is uh, accessible on the patch panel or the matrix on, at the bottom. It has an XY amount and for each of the dimensions you can set the amount and basically you can use it as a modulation source. Keep in mind since, since this is Ableton and Max for Life everything can be recorded and automated. We have an input level which is a uh, important for setting the input level of external signals because we can route external signals into the matrix and use those external signals as sound sources or as modulation sources. We have a reverb, reverberation or reverb. We have a little scope. We have a little volume meter. We have a, the ring modulator level. We have the trapezoid generator, the envelope shaper and the filter. And that's basically all the elements we have at the interface, while at the bottom at the interface we have the input routing for external inputs, we have the open close button, a, a global mute and a global volume. At the heart of the synthesizer is of course the matrix and this allows to quickly make connections. If you for example want to hear the output of the sawtooth from oscillator 1, just connect it to the outputs and you will hear it. You can use the panning and the levels to change levels and panning obviously of the two output channels left and right and you can use the amounts to control the volume and the frequency to control the frequency. Now if you want to for example modulate that frequency with another oscillator you can just make a connection from let's say sawtooth from oscillator 3 and this should go to the input of the oscillator 1 frequency and then we can just turn up the volume and the frequency is being modulated. Now you can also use the XY pad here or the stick to control the frequency of the modulating uh, oscillator which is in this case oscillator 3. So we can just make a connection and and modulate this that way. At any point you can at any point you can just hit the clear button and clear the whole matrix. 
Or you can hit the random button and get a fully randomized matrix, which usually usually leads to very noisy results because you have to fine tune things a bit afterwards. But in any case, it's a very rewarding experience to just make a randomized matrix and play around with the controls. But let's start from zero again and let's go back to a preset which is a guiding help for having a little monophonic synthesizer. So in this case, if you just load basic A as a preset, you will see very few connections, but you can immediately play on your keyboard a little melody. And this little melody can be recorded into the little keyboard sequencer by hitting the record button. And play back. And you can speed it up and play with the controls. And so on. Syndicat has three oscillators. All of these oscillators can be tracked via MIDI if you just activate the keyboard icon. If you then make a connection to the output and play on your keyboard, you can play it tonally on the keyboard. If you turn it off, the frequency is just uh, defined by the frequency knob. The shape parameter does influence how the uh, sawtooth is uh, being modified. In the middle position it's a triangle wave in the left position, it's a falling sawtooth or a rising sawtooth. Oscillators 2 and 3 have a square wave, and with the shape parameter, you can influence the pose width of the square wave, such as this. The oscillators can act as low frequency oscillators on the left hand side where you have really low frequencies or high frequency oscillators or audio oscillators more on the, on the right side of the dial. In order to use the external audio input, which is quite fun, you can use any sound source from any track. Just tap the output in the external input routing section make sure that the original sound is muted if you desire, and then make sure that the connection in the interface is set so the inputs here correspond with the external input level or the external input and just turn up the level and you should hear your external input. Synticat is especially good in improvisation and experimentation. You can load as many instances almost as you want because they are relatively CPU lightweight. You can use them for all kinds of music, but they are really nice for just jamming along, providing texture, for example in this case to a piano loop.